Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Stella Sweet Recipes. This week we're going to show you a recipe that I really recommend. It's Oreo cake and it's quite simple. So the ingredients you're going to need to make this cake are 450 grams of Oreo biscuits, okay, three packs, 80 grams of butter, 100 grams of cream cheese, two sachets of milk curd, okay, so that's this, all right, two, 500 milliliters of cream, 120 grams of sugar, and 300 milliliters of milk. So the steps to make your Oreo cake are one, separate the biscuits from the filling. Okay, so you're going to have to open all your Oreo biscuits and separate the white part from the brown part. <laughs> okay, the next step is to grind the biscuits until they have a dusty texture and save two tablespoons for the topping and the rest of the, of the ground biscuit. Mix it with a butter, melted butter, and flatten the mixture in a cake tin. Okay? Then, mix the Oreo filling, the white part of the Oreo biscuits, with the rest of the ingredients, with all of the other ingredients. So you can mix them first and then put them over the heat until they thicken, or you can do it all in, if you have a Thermomix, then that's what I'm going to do, that's the easy option. Okay, then pour this mixture, the white mixture, over the biscuit that we've put in the tin and let it cool for three hours or more in the fridge. And then uh, you sprinkle the reserved ground biscuit that we separated um, here at, on the second step uh, over the top and you're ready to eat. You already know my special helpers, Pablo and Sion, the first thing we're going to do is put on our aprons. Now we're ready to wash our hands. Now we've washed our hands, we're ready to begin. Now what we have to do is separate the biscuits from the filling. So you have to take each biscuit, open it and put the white part in one bowl and the brown part in another bowl. We've finished step one and so we've set, separated the biscuits here from the filling. As you can see it doesn't matter if uh, the filling has a few biscuit crumbs or or the other way around, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is grind the biscuits. I'm going to use my Thermomix. Here we go. It says 15 seconds, speed eight. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to take two tablespoons of my ground um, biscuit. Here. Here. Okay, so this is going to be for the topping. Okay? You can see it here, sorry. Okay, this is going to be for the topping. And the rest we're going to mix with the butter. So if you do have a thermomix, I'm just uh, putting the 80 grams of butter. Uh, three minutes uh, at 50 degrees, speed three. Our butter and biscuit mixture is finished now, so we're going to put it in the cake tin and flatten it. Okay, now the bottom layer of our cake, the biscuit layer, is ready. Uh, now we have to do the middle layer, the white part. Okay, so um, we have to mix the filling from the Oreo biscuits, which should be about 120 grams or so. Yes, 110 grams or so, with the rest of the ingredients. And you should mix this and heat it. In the Thermomix, um, I'm going to program 9 minutes, um, 90 degrees, speed 4. 
Okay, this is finished. As you can see, it's thickened a little. And now we're just going to pour it over the biscuit layer. And now what we have to do is just let it cool in the fridge for three hours. Okay, now our cake has cooled down. So now the last step is to sprinkle the reserved ground biscuit on the top. Okay, I recommend to use a sieve because the it looks neater, the result is a bit neater. To reach the edges you can actually just um, stroke the top of the cake with a spoon so that the biscuit, the brown layer, just covers all of the white layer. Look nice. As you may have noticed, my children lost interest while making the Oreo cake. We're going to eat it now, so let's see if they're interested in that. Do you want some Oreo cake? Let's see. Should we taste it? Yes. Let's taste it. Is it yummy? Is that yummy? It's absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> scrumptious that's right okay so I hope you've enjoyed our recipe try it at home um, and please if you do send some photos to the to the email address you can see below and enjoy it okay so hope to see you very soon bye